VidJam can dynamically synchronize visuals during your DJ sets using Ableton Link or MIDI Clock. This tutorial will show how to tempo and phase sync VidJam and Tractor running on the same machine. The same process could be implemented with other DJ software like Serato, Rekordbox, Virtual DJ, and of course Ableton. Once the connection is established, you can dock VidJam to the bottom of your screen during a performance. To create the connection, first enable the global section in Tractor. Set the sync method to Ableton Link and enable Link in the global section here. This will assign the master tempo in Tractor as Ableton Link's network tempo. Next, add VidJam to the session in Preferences by ticking the Ableton Link checkbox. Now enter BPM mode and Tractor's master tempo will be reflected in VidJam. The final step is to phase sync your music with the visuals. For music with a 4-4 time signature, set your duration in VidJam to a multiple of two measures to maintain phasing throughout your sets. Here, I'm using a relatively fast duration of two measures and a transition time of one beat. This will quickly move through my custom playlist I created using the beat sync in favorites tags. A more typical setting during a real live stage or streaming performance would be four or eight measures to give the visuals time to evolve for your audience. Now that everything is set up, start playing a track. Notice the link button phase shows the downbeat the moment the line disappears. This is also known as the zero point. In this out of phase example, the zero point is not lined up with the downbeat of the track I'm playing. To line them up, use the reset downbeat hotkey, which by default in Tractor is control alt space. I'll wait until the next downbeat and use that hotkey to align them. And we're done. Note that the downbeat in the music is now correlating with the zero point of the button. The final step is to phase sync your visuals in VidJam to the music using the Q button. This action will reset the duration counter in 4-beat LEDs to the downbeat of your music. Click the Q button just before the downbeat since this function is quantized. Again, I'll wait until the next downbeat and use the Q button to align them. And we're done. Now notice the visuals are both in tempo sync and phase sync with your music. That's it. Now all visuals will loop and time stretch according to your tractor tempo and VidJam duration settings. If you've purchased the X7 library, you'll also have access to 1790 visuals with an integrated beat grid. This is similar to the beat grids you're familiar with in your audio files, but with visuals. To filter your playlist with visuals containing a beat grid, click the beat grid button and confirm your new playlist. Now all your visuals are looping in sync, transitioning in sync, and line up with your tractor beat grids, even when you change the tempo in real time. Even visuals without a beat grid will time stretch to loop on beat. There are hundreds of themes spanning nearly 10,000 videos in the X7 library. So start tagging the ones you like best as your favorite to help build your performance playlists. Next up, learn how to sequence and overlay X7's toolkit style visuals in the grid layer, all in time with your music, always on beat.